when I asked my guides for advice on where they wanted me to start with this meditation, I got the image of the gal in Reiki 3 who's hold uh, the Carolyn Mace uh, image. She's holding her arm up and she has the mental, emotional, and physical distortions. But I'm not talking about distortions. I'm talking about the items that I just read through her list and I said, oh yeah, I can use that and speak about love. And, and so this morning's meditation is going to be how to apply the various techniques of emotional patterning that we go through on this planet, apply it to our different chakras. I'm going to start uh, with the first, since that's where I was guided to start. And as I read this off to you, I'm also going to give you, I think Melvin always gives you three minutes uh, to to have your um, uh, to, to have the meditation on. And so I'm going to follow that pattern. Uh, I find two minutes is a little bit too fast. It, it comes around too quickly. So I'll give you three minutes then to, to meditate on that particular chakra. But because this is all about love, what I'd like you to do is visualize whoever else you want to send this Reiki share to whoever else it is in your field that that uh you know that's part of your life um good or bad you know uh and and again we're not judging we're uh just that you want an infusion of reiki for them then i would ask you to also include mother earth uh and everything that lives on her plane because we still have probably at any given time 40 different wars going on that's the way it was when i was a teenager that's the way it is today and man seems not to have learned anything from time on the planet so um we need to send this this energy to mother earth too um so i'm going to begin uh again very gently close your eyes deep breath in and with, if everybody would mute themselves would appreciate it sandra i think you need to be muted and crystal you need to be muted okay uh, great thank you all right um, very gently close your eyes, deep breath in. Dear Mother, Father, God, divine, infinite spirit, source of all that is, I ask to be connected to you, to my higher self, and to the higher self of everyone here present. And I ask that their higher selves be connected to each other, which we know they are but we ask for a special binding, a special cohesiveness, a special energy that brings us all together. I ask for the assistance of the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters, the Reiki masters, but most especially Master Jesus, Master Buddha, Master Katumi, Saint Francis, Saint Germain, Saint Gabriel, Saint Raphael, Saint Michael, the Blessed Mother, the Divine Feminine, Mary Magdalene, Moses, Metatron, Melchizedek, Mohammed, and Kuan Yin. I ask that we be cleared, centered, aligned, balanced, and grounded, and that what Ever come in for each of us, come in for our highest good. Also ask to be a clear channel of light for Metatron and his healing angels, 
so that we each receive the highest vibrations of light possible. Also ask for the assistance of the great rays, the lords and masters of the rays, and the archangels of the rays. I ask all of this in the name of Jesus the Christ, in the name of I am. And now I ask that you open your crown, allow the white gold light of God, whether you see it as a stream, as a ball, as twinkling stars, however you see it, come in through your crown, down through your third eye, down through your throat, down through your heart, down through your solar plexus, down through your sacrum, and settle in your root. And embrace the root of you. Embrace the root of who you are, as well as embracing the root of Mother Earth. I do know that the last person that I spoke to had different opinions. I'm not going to share where the Earth chakras are until I've had more of a chance to study them and evaluate them, because I don't want to pass on information that I don't feel is, doesn't resonate. So feel source energy nestle in your root and know that your root is what gives you the sense of safety security and protection on this planet and know that this is a safe place to be especially for those of you who are on the spiritual path that it is safe the root is for standing up for yourself, for feeling at home on earth, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. And for those of you who don't feel that earth is home, I'm sure you're right. Earth isn't your place where you have chosen to incarnate from originally. Some of you have come in from the angelic realm. Some of you from the David kingdom. Some of you have come in from other planetary systems, other solar systems, other dimensions. And just know that only the best, the brightest, the highest vibrations have selected themselves to come here, especially at this time of ascension. Mother Earth is moving into the fifth dimension. We're moving along with her, and we are raising our vibrations accordingly. So now I will give you three minutes to start and meditate on the safety and security of the root shock.
and send love to your root with the highest vibration of your being. Send love to those you care about. Send love to Mother Earth. And now we move into the second chakra. We see that beautiful energy, God's energy or source, whatever you want to call it, prime creator, prime mover, great spirit, names do not matter whatever is the highest power that you feel attracted to. And as we move into the second chakra, we recognize that what we are doing here is that we are in our power center. The sacral, the second chakra, is about power and control. It's about sexual maturity. It's about creativity. You create, you birth your great ideas from the activity in the second chakra. It's about ethics and honor, always coming at other people with ethical and honorable behavior. And lastly, releasing blame shame, and guilt. Those are the lowest vibration emotions that are on the planet. And those are used very effectively by others to control us and recognize when they are being hurtled at you or when you are hurtling them to someone else. Blame, shame, and guilt. Release them. And now you have three minutes to send love to the sacral, the second chakra, to yourself, to those you love, and to Mother Earth.
And now take your consciousness and move into the third chakra with your golden ball of light or energy stream. That is God's energy. And as you move into the third chakra, the solar plexus, just know that this is about your own self-esteem, your own self-confidence, and your own self-respect. This is about you being able to make good decisions, whether they affect you or someone else. And this is about your personal honor and your personal power. This is about your ability to say to the world, this is who I am. I am not going to put on a mask to try to save face. I am not going to lessen myself to try to make you feel better about yourself. I am not going to hide behind my abilities because you are jealous or you are critical. You stand in your own power on the basis of how your third chakra reacts. So now for the next three minutes, we are going to send love to the third chakra of ourself, love to the third chakra of others, and love to the third chakra of Mother Earth.
And now we move that golden ball of light, God's energy, that white gold string into the fourth chakra. We move it into our heart. Heart is a symbol of love. And this being so close to Valentine's Day, um, February is known as the month of love. And interestingly enough, February also has been chosen as Black History Month, which I felt was very, very appropriate since the founding of our country was based on such an abhorrent issue like slavery and that obviously needed to be healed but it couldn't be healed at the founding of our country. It had to take its healing during the Civil War. And in every respect, I feel we are still in the process of healing those wounds. We're getting closer every single time that I have or I've witnessed an act of kindness between whoever or whatever, I feel the vibrations rising generally for all of us because what one person does affects the whole. The fourth chakra is about caring first and foremost for yourself. And then it's about caring for others. You have to put yourself first. You cannot give from an empty cup. Fill your own self with divine love first, then offer it to others. It's about releasing negative emotions and replacing them with positive emotions. There are so many things that happen to us on this planet in the lifetime that we choose for ourselves that can make us turn to bitterness or rage or destruction. And we have the choice of eliminating that and replacing it with love and kindness and generosity and forgiveness. It's also about expanding love to include more than just self-interest. I I'm going to experience something this afternoon that I have never done before. I'm actually going to a political meeting and um, because one of our neighbors, who I dearly love, said she is hosting it and uh, I'm invited if I'm free. And when I saw the, um, the drippy rain and the kind of coldish uh, weather out there, I thought, well, I know we're not going anywhere, so I might as well go to the meeting and lend my support to that. So this is your opportunity to now take just a few moments, the next three minutes, to give yourself love, give it to the other people, that you care about and give it to Mother Earth.
And now we move into the fifth chakra, the throat. And as we move into the throat, we bring our ball of light or stream of energy and see it surrounding that beautiful, magnificent blue tone. And that blue tone can be anywhere from the gentlest aquamarine to the strongest midnight blue. I've seen every color, every shade of blue at the throat chakra, including black. And as we move our ball of love, our ball of light into the throat chakra, we know that the throat is about choosing wisely in our personal expression. We know it is about following our own dream. It is also about letting go of gossip and criticism and about compassion and hope and trust. And it's through the throat that we learn that there are well-meaning people in our life, people that love us with every fiber of their being, but their advice to us is not as good as advice to ourselves. That we ourselves hold the key to what it is that we want out of life, what it is that we came here to do, what our soul contract had us sign before we even incarnated. There is something in our throat that pushes us to resolve our issues ourselves, rather than follow the advice of well-meaning people who would hold us back because they're afraid for us. And now we're going to take three minutes and send divine love, our most heartfelt love to our throat, to the throat chakra of those we love and the throat chakra of Mother Earth.
And now we move our golden ball of light, our golden stream of God's energy into our sixth chakra, our third eye, our brow. This is the seat of our intuition. We do not have to follow our intuition, but if we don't, it is like sitting inside a house with all the blinds drawn with all the shades down, with all the lights off, and saying that we never see the light. We never see anything different from what we've become accustomed to inside that home. Through our brow, by listening to our guides by either seeing them or sensing them or hearing them, we seek truth. And remember, truth is the same for every man. There are many things that are true have nothing to do with truth. We become emotionally mature and we become emotionally intelligent from working with our guides by being open to our guides. At times, this could be loved ones that have gone into spirit. At times, it could be other beings, sometimes we don't even know their names, but we have to ask them what their names are. And just know that each of us have an enormous cadre of guides, angels, archangels, ascended masters, Reiki masters, ancestors, beings of light, from other dimensions that are ready, willing, and able to assist us if only we give them an opening. We have to agree to their uh, reaching through the dimensions into us because we are creatures, creatures of free will and we can say no to them. We can say no to God. So now... We are going to take three minutes and give our third eye the love that we bring from source and the third eye of those we love and the third eye of Mother Earth, the brow shot.
And now we move into the seventh chakra, our crown, our crowning achievement, the source of all the virtues that we amass on this planet. It is through the seventh chakra that we learn to trust life. We learn to trust God and we learn to trust the guidance that comes to us from everything around us. Everything means something. Every, every animal, reptile, insect, fowl, bird that crosses your path has a meaning. All the flowers that you see have a meaning. All the vegetation you see, even the rocks and the soil all have a meaning. Our seventh chakra is where we hold our highest values, our ethics. It's where our faith, hope, and charity, which leads to inspiration, lives. Our highest values lead to our inspiration. And we hold and we become one with God through our crown chakra. Our higher self connects to us through our crown. It never leaves us and it never leaves God. It's our bridge to God. And we have access to our higher self at all times. We are never without access. And now we're going to take three minutes to send our love to our crown, our love to the crown of those that we've selected, and our love to the crown of Mother Earth. And we will also include all the members on the screen. We hold them between our hands and we offer our love to all those who show up from Sunday to Sunday that we may continue our Reiki share in love and gratitude towards each other.
now in closing, we smooth our auric field three times and we seal it three times with the sign of the infinity and we smooth the auric field of all those that we love three times, seal it three times with the sign of the infinity, smooth the auric field of Mother Earth three times, and seal it three times with the sign of the infinity. And we close this meditation with love and gratitude everyone who is able to participate or everyone who may have wanted to but couldn't be here today. Namaste. And we probably, well, we have three minutes. So we have time for just some real fast feedback. So you know me, I'm going to call on you. Uh, so Jillian, I'll, uh, I'll ask you first. You can unmute yourself so you'll just be ready. I touched on mute, but it didn't happen. My hair probably looks all crazy because I was laying down. <laughs> um, that was incredible. Um, very, very powerful stuff. Um, I feel cleared, centered, aligned, balanced, and grounded. <laughs> and I feel like those in the circle were as well. Um, got my two little kitties that say <laughs> they, they, feel, they feel quite the same. So thank you very much. That was a wonderful thing to do in Black History Month and um, the month of love. So thank you so much. Thank you, Jillian. And Andrea. Yes, thank you, Alice. Um, I tried to focus on the hot spots of... of um, a lot of the areas that need help right now, what's going on in the news and um, just focus on, you know, healing earth as much as possible. And I found it to be for myself, very uh, restorative. And I also sent healing to my son and I just want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone. Excellent. Thank you. And Liz. Yes. Um, thank you, Alice. Thank you, everyone. Um, I've really felt the energy, um, coming and going from mother earth to from the crown above and and particularly when you you said at the end to send energy um to the group i want to thank everyone because i felt it so strongly it actually jerked my body like you're walking in the wind and so um very powerful group this morning so thank you yeah i i felt i absolutely agree liz wonderful assessment Okay, Crystal. Yay, Crystal, you've got your head. Uh, can, can you hear me? Yep. Um, that was definitely very powerful. I was so in and out of conscious a few times, but um, I feel amazing. So thank you very much, Alice, and the group. Thank you very much. Oh, you're so welcome. And Sandra. Yes, that, that was very powerful. And um uh, my root chakra, which is in need of help lately, um, it, it it really helps me to uh, the meditation um, to for, to connect with Mother Earth, and I send the uh, to my son and to my husband, and I appreciate the group energy, and it was a beautiful meditation that you did just uh, uh, through all the chakras. I I was needing that. Thank you, Sandra. Appreciate it. Barb. Um, Friday night late, I was burglarized. And oh. when we discovered it, I was a mess yesterday. But I, for some reason, I decided to pay attention to what was going on to my with um, my energy field. So the fact that you started out with the root so strongly, I... I knew I needed this today to help pull my energy back in balance. Yeah. Um, and it really has helped. And I appreciate everyone because it's it's magnified with others here. And thank you very much for that. You're so welcome. Thank you. And Julie. Uh, hi, Alice. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, I just would reiterate what everyone else said. I'm I'm very grateful because I've been doing a lot of chakra work 
Mm. And, and particularly the root, which really helped. But it was funny. I've had so many challenges this past year that I I have noticed I've been struggling with my um, third eye and my crown. And something happened where I just felt like it cleansed my throat, my third eye, and they were just spinning. <laughs> and I was like, finally, and, you know, like it just felt like there was a release of some stuff and and they reactivated and it was very powerful. And I thank you. And I thank the group for, you could feel the energy of support for everyone and, yeah. you know, all the things we were praying for. So I thank you so much. Oh, this you're so welcome, Julie. Thank you, Ashley. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Thanks, Alice. Um, I had I had some pretty big insights over the course of the um the session, which I, I won't go into, but I, I also took a lot of notes just to jot down when I thought it was important to remember, including some of the metaphors that you used, Alice, like um intuition, not using your intuition as being like in a being in a house with the, the blinds closed and the lights mm -hmm. off. Um, and so, yeah, I was able to, to feel a lot of healing that happened. You know, I feel a lot better than when I started. Um, so thank you. And I'm sorry to hear about what happened, Barb. I hope that you find a sense of safety yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, because that's interesting. Yeah, thank you, Ashley, for that. Uh, and uh, really, Barb, as, as you were talking, all I thought was meditate on the meaning of the bur burglary because that's, mm -hmm. you're not feeling safe, you know, and somehow or other, that's root chakra issues. Safe right. is root chakra. So uh, just, just meditate on that. So thank you. All right, Allie. And thanks, Allie. Yeah, I mean, this meditation was very powerful. I think it's the first time, if not the first time in a long time, that I've cried during a, a Reiki session. So I, I definitely released a lot of things. Um, and I think it was actually quite poignant and quite fitting that you mentioned uh, the color red and the color blue, which, as we know, are associated with the root chakra and, and love, and then blue also with uh, Archangel Michael and the throat chakra, because I've, like, during the last couple of days, I've had um situations where I've had to have some difficult conversations with uh some members of my family in order to sort of take my power back and get like a sense of safety so I think it was it was a very appropriate meditation so thank you so much wonderful thank you I appreciate that and uh you are so welcome everybody for uh all your wonderful remarks is there anybody else that not on the screen i think i think we got everybody okay so anyway i just oh i i also felt the presence of love guiding this and all i needed from the the you know the place that i went to carolyn mace's gal with the chakras just word. I just needed one word from there. And then I ran with it. And a listening to, you know, to uh, my guides as to what they want to say. So I just encourage you work with your guides, because your guides are intimately connected with you, your journey, your wants, your hopes, your dreams. Um, your limitations. So work with your guides and they will give you um, more of what you need. It's it's like having a personal assistant that you don't have to pay for. It's, it really is amazing. <laughs> so, anyway, all right. Love you all and I will see you next week. It will be, oh, uh, next okay. week will be um, Melvin who, you know, who is always, uh, you know, well, we love them all, but uh, I especially love Melvin's presentations because he always finds something new to um, to share, you know, a new passage, a new something or other. So it's, it's just great. All right. So hopefully we will see you all next week. And thank you. Love, love you too, Alice. Uh, Alice. Thank you. Thank you. Have Thanks. a wonderful Bye, day. Barb sending Bye. clear.
love and light. Yeah, that's a good point, Julie.